Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Tita Josie. Good evening, Tita Jazelle. Good evening po, Pastor, at sa inyong lahat. Gandang gabi po. Hi, good evening, Justin. It's uh, 8.01. Ano ba ngayon? October 17 ba ngayon? October 18, 2023, Wednesday. Welcome to the Upper Zoom Prayer Gathering. And um, let's start with our prayer request and uh, uh, prayer request and praise support. All right. Let's start with uh, Tita Josie. Tita Josie, prayer request po, praise report. Prayer request po. Uh, um, <laughs> prayer. prayer request ko po. Uh, uh, praise report po na. No? Praise report. Salamat po sa kagalingan ng lahat ng may makaramdaman. Salamat po sa pag-iingat sa araw-araw. Lalo-lalo na po sa mga apo ko. At uh, ang praise ang... Uh, Ano ba yung ating prayer request ko po? Yung uh, mga ano, uh, procedure na nagawin sa kaya yung mga appointment uh, sa doktor. Yung pong mga yung mga ipinagpe-pray po natin na may mga karamdaman, kagalingan po na nagmumula sa ating Panginoon. Yung po ang prayer request ko. Tsaka po yung mga nasa Pilipinas na mga kapatira natin, ingatan po. Ingatan po sila hanggang sa makabalik po muli-uli sila dito sa US. Yan po, Pastor. Saka yung kay brother dyan, sa mating na po. Yan. Yeah. Wala si Pastor. Thank you, Tita Josie. And uh, <laughs> we have here, listening po, nasa biyahe po kami. Uh, kay Sina Jairus, nasa biyahe. Okay, ingat kayo sa biyahe. Good evening, Aldrin. <laughs> Uh, the Ngawen family, good evening. Let's go now to uh, Sister Giselle. Giselle, prayer request and uh, praise report. Hello po. Um, praise report ko po, naging successful po yung pag ko po nung Sunday for praise and worship. All glory to God po talaga. And... Prayer request naman po, continuous provision lang po sa pag-aaral ko po. Yun lang po. Thank you. Sa po lang volume. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you, Giselle. And uh, Justin, pray support, prayer request. Good evening, CJ. <clears throat> Good evening. My praise report uh, is that my school is going okay so far. I don't have any problems with it right now. Um, and also, uh, my family's healthy right now. No one in my family's sick, so that's good. Um, a prayer request. Uh, just good health for everyone. And for those who are sick, that they would be healed. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Uh, let's go now to Dangawen family. Good evening, Dangawen family. Praise support oh. and prayer request. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Purihin po ang Panginoon sa kanyang biyaya, sa pagbibiyahe po natin, ay uh, yung pag-iingat po ng Diyos ay ating amin pong nararanasan. Saka po yung prayer request ko po last, last Wednesday, yung pong dun sa wife ng aking alaga. Okay na po yung kanyang eye surgery. Talaga pong tunay na napaka buti ng ating Diyos. So prayer request po, katuloy na kalakasan po. 
sa bawat isa for everyday uh, work po ng natin. Yun lamang po, Pastor. Marami pong salamat. Amen. Thank you. Si Kuya Manny, meron ba? Uh, Nag-shower pa po, Pastor. Prepare ah, okay, po. Sige po. Good evening, Tita Faith and Tita Pepot. So, we have here uh, from Jairus and Rachel Pray Support sa lahat po ng taxes due ng company namin noon. All clear na po and yung uh, tax po ng bahay na ayos na po sa escrow. Praise the Lord po. Prayer request, uh, peace of mind po sa work ni Jairus. Positive results po sa M- uh, med- medical doctor appointment ni Jairus sa Monday. Salamat po. Good evening everyone. All right. Thank you, uh, Jairus and Rachel. Let's go now to Aldrin. Aldrin, pray support, pray request. Good evening po. Uh, praise report po. Um, uh, health po is getting better. Pero ano po, pray request din po yung medyo inubo pa rin po kami ni Allison and si Anaya may konting sipon pa rin po. So yun po, um, recovery and healing po. Po. Okay, thank you, Aldrin. All right. Uh, CJ, good evening. Uh, prayer request and praise support. Uh, good evening po sa lahat. Ang aking uh, prayer support po, um, I thank the Lord for important po, continuous uh, blessings and provisions po sa ating buhay. Uh, prayer request po is, uh, I'm, um, I'm po safety po nung lahat and uh, prayers po for Israel. Thank you. Thank you, CJ. Um, Kanila, ayusin ko lang to. Okay. Hirap pag multitask. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, CJ. Let's go now to the Maranans. Good evening, mga Maranans. Wala po si Faith eh. Uh... Nag-discipleship sila ang dalawa ni Nicole. Sige po. Uh, pray support uh, po. And, uh, pray support ko lang po. I thank God. Uh, nag-start na po kag- ngayong gabi yung play ni Hazel sa Manila. Hmm. And I thank God. Uh, mukhang marami naman po manonood. At saka kanina po, uh, nag-undergo ako ng nuclear stress test para po malaman kung yung condition ng heart yung condition ng heart saka kung may mga arteries na barabara ganyan and na uh, praise ang prayer request ko po sana po negative lahat yun result malalaman ko po next week yun lang po thank you negative result po saan yun sa nuclear stress test kung UPR. tawagin para pa sa dumaan ako sa machine para malaman nila kung may barado bang arteries yung heart, yung makondisyon ng heart mo, ganyan. Na, I pray na negative lahat ang result. Sila po. Okay po. Sige po. Salamat po, Tita Pepot. Okay. So, all right. Eh, let's go now to our... Bilis ha. Bilis lahat natapos. <laughs> Let's go now with our devotion. So, allow me to share this. All right. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Ay, lampo. Okay, good evening, good evening. And uh, welcome to our Zoom prayer gathering, 8 p.m. every Wednesday. So tapos na tayo sa pray support and prayer request. So we have here uh, for our devotional leaders uh, next week would be Sister Anna Lu and then followed by <clears throat> CJ and then Faith and then Kita Fepot and so on. So gandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Tayo po ay magbulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos. Tayo po ay manalangin. Uh, dakilang ang masalangit. Paraming salamat po sa gabi na to, sa kung saan pwede kaming matuto, manalangin, magsama-sama at uh, magkaisa Panginoon para po ipanalangin ng mga bagay-bagay lalo na mga kahidingan ng mga mahal namin sa buhay at mga personal na din. Maraming salamat po sa pagtugod niya bago pa lamang namin ibukas ang aming bibig. Kami po ay inyo pong pinaunlakan na at ang pabor niyo po ay nasa amin. Maraming salamat Panginoon at uh, kabayan niyo po kami sa gabi na to. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. Okay, welcome to our pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos sa ating uh, Wednesday devotional. Uh, if we will open our Bibles uh, sa Psalm 37 uh, verses 3 to 8. Ang sabi dito, uh, kung famous na famous to eh. Uh, CSB to, no? uh, version. Trust in the Lord and do what is good. Dwell in the land and live securely. Take delight in the Lord and He will give you your heart's desires. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. Making your righteousness shine like the dawn, your justice like the noonday. Be silent before the Lord and wait expectantly for Him. Do not be agitated by one who prospers in his way, by the person who carries out evil plans. Refrain from anger and give up your rage. Do not be agitated. It can only bring harm. Tingnan po natin sa Tagalog, no? sa wika natin. Magandang balita, Biblia, ang version na to. Uh, verse 3, umasa ka sa Diyos, ang mabuti gawin, at mananahan kang digtas sa lupain. Kayawi mo hanapin ang kaligayahan at ang pangarap mo'y iyong makakaptan. Ang iyong sarili sa kanya italaga, tutulungang ganap kapag ikay nagtiwala. Ang kabutihan mo ay magliliwanag katulad ng araw kung tanghaling tapat. Si, si, sa harap ni Yahweh ay pumatag ka or pumanatag ka. Maging matyagang maghintay sa kanya. Huwag mong kaingitan ang gumigin hawa sa likong paraan. Umunlad man sila. Huwag kang mapupuot ni mababalisa. Iyang pagkagalit iwasan mo sana. Walang kabutihang makakamtan ka. Okay. Napakaganda ng uh, psalm na to or awitin na ito. Sa gabi na to, Ah, uh, pagbulay-bulayan natin ano, yung uh, sine ng uh, salmista. Si David actually ang sumulat niyan, no. What is our responsibility when it comes to claiming this promise from God? So we believe that these are all promises from God if you trust in him. So, number one, we must, no, una. So verse 4, sabi, delight ourselves in the Lord. And ibig sabihin, as Christians, we should rejoice in God. Because He deserves top priority in our life. Now, how do you delight yourselves in the Lord? Of course, you dwell in His presence. Kagaya nito, Wednesdays, may prayer gathering. You prioritize this. Friday, discipleship clusters. You know that you will learn so much from it. You know, especially about discipleship. So you, you prioritize it. That is delighting yourself in the Lord. Of course, Sundays, you know, prioritizing also. Uh, the Sabbath day, resting in God's presence. Some of you comes on uh, sun, uh, Saturdays. No, that is also prioritizing pra, prioritizing God's work. Because you're uh, uh, preparing the Sunday service for God. No? So that is delighting ourselves in the Lord. Hindi lang marami pang paraan. Gaya ng daily devotional nyo, pananalangin niyo. No, at uh, every time that you talk about God, that is delighting ourselves in the Lord. Now, one time, makasakay ka lamang ng, uh, ng Uber, you share the word to uh, the driver or whatever. So that is delighting ourselves in the Lord. So marami pang iba pang paraan. Ano pa? Sabi dito, commit your, commit our way to Him. No, So verse 5, sabi, commit our way to Him. Ano ibig sabihin? We must allow God to change any aspect of our ambition that is not aligned with his will. Wala namang masama sa ambisyon pero dapat eh nakalinya doon sa kagustuhan ng Panginoon, di ba? Uh, it's good to remember that when he doesn't answer prayers as we wish, it's for a reason. No. Halimbawa, uh, kagaya ng habi-labi, no? Hindi naka-align na um, na Baga, pwede silang mas kumita pa eh. Kagaya ng Chick-fil-A, Hobby Lobby. No, pwede silang mas kumita pa. Pero feeling nila, hindi naka-align na dapat nagre-rest sa Sabbath day yung kanilang mga tao. So what they did is uh, ginawa nilang rest day ang Sunday. Although ito yung pinakamalakas na araw sa Hobby Lobby or sa Chick-fil-A. 
Pero alam niyo ba sa sales, no? Tinatalo ng Chick-fil-A ang KFC. Oh, grabe, no? May Sunday ang KFC, ha? Pero tinatalo nila sa profitability. So, ibig sabihin, eh, we need to delight, no? Uh, we need to commit our way to Him. Ibig sabihin, i-align natin yung will niya sa will natin. Okay? So, sabi nga, it's good to remember that when He doesn't answer prayers as we wish, it's for a reason. So, kapag uh, hindi ka sinagot, eh, hindi ibig sabihin, hindi ka mahalan Diyos, maaaring may rason siya at meron siyang gustong mas maganda para sa iyo. In verse 5, sabi, trust in Him. No? God is merciful, all-knowing, kind, and generous. We can trust Him with our hopes and dreams. So, wala nang ibang pwede pang uh, pagkatiwalaan kundi ang Panginoon kasi siya ay pinakamatalino, pinakamagaling, mahabagin, iba at generous no generous and lord ibibigay niya talaga in the best para sa iyo so we can trust him with our hopes and dreams lalo na for the future okay so kung nangangamba ka halimbawa sa mga bagay-bagay na parang walang kasiguraduhan o halimbawa wala ka pang uh, green card o halimbawa wala ka pang uh, 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 pampuunan sa negosyo anything or halimbawa uh, hindi pa kayo nagkakasundo nung may kasamaan ka na low, whatever, you need to trust in the Lord, no? Kasi siya ang pwedeng magbigay sa iyo, magbukas ng daan para sa iyo, no? Sa hopes and dreams mo. Nang mapapera man yan, maparelasyon man yan, no? whatever, kayang-kayang ayusin ng Diyos. No? Rest in Him. Verse 7. Resting in the Lord means being at peace with His care and control in your life. You see, resting in God, it doesn't mean na walang chaos around you. Do you know that as a Christian, as a believer, you can rest in the presence of God even though chaotic yung buong mundo. No? So you need to rest in the Lord. So at peace with His care and control in your life. So number seven, wait patiently upon Him. Yan, may matutong maghintay. Jesus, invited, uh, Jesus waited decades before beginning His ministry. Like Him, we should be patient. Yan. Maghintay tayo sa lahat ng pagkakataon ng buhay natin. Tandaan nyo, the Lord, long, uh, the Lord longs to give His followers fullness of joy. Sabi nga sa Psalm 16.11. And abundant blessings no, beyond all that we ask or think. Um, kumbaga, uh, and when we surrender everything to Him, we'll experience our Father's best. So, for our question for discussion, how do you manifest your trust in the Lord? No? Or paano mo pinapakita at uh, pinapamuhay ang pagtitiwala mo sa Diyos? Alright, let's start with... Uh, good evening muna tayo. Good evening po, Tita Fe. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo. Oh, good evening po, Pastor and all. All of you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's start with uh, Tita Josie. Good evening po sa inyo ulit, Tita Josie. So, ang tanong. <laughs> uh, ang tanong. <laughs> How do you manifest your trust in the Lord? Paano mo pinapakita at pinamumuhay ang pagtitiwala mo sa Diyos? Uh, Ako po, para sa akin po, yung, yung pagtitiwala ko po sa ating Panginoon, eh, yun po, lubos ang aking pagtitiwala sa Kanya. Lagi ko po siyang sinasangguni mm, sa araw-araw ng aking buhay. Lagi ko po siyang tinatanong, ito ba'y kalooban mo? Ito ba'y hindi nararapat? Ganun. Lagi ko po siyang sinasangguni. Tapos sa mga alalahanin ko, mga alalahanin ko, nilalapit ko po lahat sa kanya. Lalo na kung may mga problema, may mga kahilingan, mga buong, buong pamilya namin, dinudulog po namin ito sa kanya. At uh, kung minsan po, ang uh, sagot niya, no, yes, or wait, okay lang po dahil yun ang kalooban ng Diyos. Yung pong lubos na pagpitiwala sa kanya, yun po yung sinasa pumuhay namin. Sabi nga po sa Kawikaan na 356, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean at your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Sabi po sa 
Tagalog, kaya huwag kang magtiwala, buong puso at lubusan na huwag kang mananangan sa sariling karunungan sa lahat ng iyong gawain. Siya nga alalahanin upang ikay patnubayin sa iyong mga tatahakin. Yung pong pagtitiwala ng lubos sa kanya. Siya po yung nagkakatiwalaan po namin. Yung ganun po yung pinamumuhay po namin. Yun lang po. Thank you, Tita Josie. Uh, let's go now to Justin. Good evening, Justin. What was the question? How do you manifest your trust in the Lord? Well, for me, uh, when I'm making decisions, I I remember that it's important to seek godly wisdom, whether it's uh, through God's word or through godly counsel, and. Because, uh, and I do this because I know that human wisdom is limited. So, so I have to trust in, in what God has to say so that I can make the decision that's aligned with his will. Thank you, Justin. Let's go now to the Dangawins. Good evening, Dangawins. How do you manifest? <laughs> How will you manifest your trust in the Lord? So, isang scenario po is, for example, sa akin, um, nire-review po ako ng anak ko eh. Lalo na pagka ngayon, medyo she's growing in the Lord. Uh, open rebuke is better than hidden love. Sabi niya, Mami, you should submit to daddy, sabi niya. So, hmm. is po yun sa mga bagay na mahirap po sa akin. Pero sabi niya, Mami, ang, ang department mo lang is mag-submit kay Lord. Si daddy na ang bahalang accountable siya sa, sa Panginoon. So, parang ganun. So, yung naipapakita ko po yung pagmamahal ko sa Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng pagsunod dun sa kanyang sinasabi. Though it's hard, it's real hard, it's not easy. Pero by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the power of His Word, nababago po tayo each and every day. Yun lamang po. Amen. Ang ganda naman ng practical application. Okay, good evening, Brother Aldrin. It's your turn. Okay po. Um, sa akin naman po, ano po eh. um, when it comes to financial decisions, so, kumisan po um, na maangamba ka na baka ma-short or uh, baka kulang sa financial. Um, we just trust in the Lord as long as we we um, stay faithful kay Lord yung, kanyang, yung sa kanyang tithes, sa pag-give ng tithes, sa offering. Uh, sabi nga po sa Malaray, hindi po ba? He said to test Him. So, that's that's um, that's something that God wants you to do to test him so just be faithful sa sa tithes and offering and God will provide uh, he is uh, Jehovah Jireh God the provider so that's how we trust in the Lord sa, sa amin po as an example Yan po thank you brother Aldrin uh CJ your turn good evening po so um pag manifest po yung trust kay Lord um I think ay na po um kagaya po ng bagit kanina um parang always seeking him um asking him for wisdom in every situation lalo na po dun sa um um uh, uh, <laughs> like, like um yung yung kunwari po bilang gitutuloy yung some finances or something um 
yun pagsisip ko po. And also, every time po yung, pag naisip ko po yung trust, parang I have three words po na palagi ko po naisip na magkakibat po, which is faith, hope, and love po. So, faith, yung gagaya po yung faith is like uh, believing in something. So, without faith, we do not have hope. And if we do not have hope, we do not also have trust. So, parang magkakib- dahil magkakibat po yung tatlong words na yun. But on my mind, how can I have um, faith if there's no hope? If I cannot hope if there's no trust in uh, believing na mangyayari yun. And uh, alam, po na, alam ko po na um, many times in our lives, um, God has made the impossible possible. And um, lahat po ng mga challenges po sa ating buhay na pagtagumpayan na po. So, para sa akin po, um, I'm always um, constantly reminded po uh, um, to, to have trust even though in uh, those difficult moments in life po. So, yun lang po sa akin. Thank you po. Thank you, CJ. Faith, hope, and love. Okay, speaking of faith, hope, and love, Tita Pepot, good evening. Your turn. Uh, sa akin naman po, uh, we should rely on him in all circumstances, kung medyo mahirap pa niyan o maganda, kasi we should completely trust Him kasi, and do not doubt because we are assured naman that the, the character ng God is true and steadfast. He will do what He has promised. Sabi nga nung kanta, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. Kaya magtiwala lang tayo. Yun lang ang hinihingi ni Lord sa atin, yung trust. At hindi niya tayo pababayaan. He is a merciful God. We love po. Thank you, Tita Pepot. Uh, punta tayo sa iyong uh, sa inyo pong uh, katukayo. Tita Fe, dumo. Good evening po, Tita Fe. Okay. Oh. It's a wonderful thing for anyone to put his trust in the Lord because God is so wonderful. God is great. God is powerful. God is merciful. With all the experiences and observations that I have had since I was a little girl, trusting in the Lord is so important. And when we trust in Him, He will protect us he will provide for us. He will answer our prayers that are in alignment with his will. And even uh, sends us messages of what may happen in the near future. Like yung example, kung very simple example, yung pupunta ako sa downtown, the Holy Spirit prevented me from going. And then the ones of Philippines, when my parents and I would go to places na may mga, mga natives, and yan, there were times to spread the gospel. There were times when the Holy Spirit would prevent us from going. Kasi may mga mountain people na ano sila, um, lalo na kung kasama mo mga puti, um, targetin nila yun. Uh, yung, ewan ko kung anong ginagawa nila, kinakain or what, I'm not so sure about that. Pero kung may makita silang puti, talagang papatayin nila yun. Very risky. But God had protected us because we trusted Him. Sa lahat ng bagay in our life here on earth, Trust in the Lord is very important. If we trust in Him, He will be pleased and provide everything for us. Um, importante ito, ano? Um, because this is manifesting our trust in God. Nung pag apply ko sa Philippines, every time I, I apply, tinatanggap ako. Masaya rin yung nag interview sa akin. But when I came to this country, iba ang kwento. Uh, I did not know how to drive. Nobody could guide me to look for a job. 
So I just did something. I I just tried to help myself. Hindi ko alam ang mga streets pero tinatandaan ako, tinatandaan ko I would go out and and walk. Tinatandaan ko yung mga streets. Uh if I see a big building with an office that is visible from the street, papasukan ko yan, mag apply ako. Tapos, there were times when sabihin, we have no vacancy. Paglabas ko niyan, sasabihin ko sa loob ko, malas lang kayo because I'm a good worker. <laughs> that was my trust in the Lord. I expressed my trust in the Lord that way. Punta na naman ako sa sunod na ano. Ta, pero tinatandaan ko yung mga streets, baka mawala ako. You know? Apply na naman ako. Kahit anong maliit o malaking opisina, pinapasukan ko. Because I did not want to stay idle at home waiting for my sister-in-law to help me. I wanted to really act on what I was supposed to do. So lalakad na naman ako. Kung halimbawa naman ang sagot the same, no vacancy, pag lalabas ako niyan, my spirit inside would say, or ako mismo, sasabihin kong malas lang kayo wala akong I would not feel bad because I trusted in the Lord and not long from that nabigyan ako ng Diyos ng magandang trabaho so trusting in the Lord really is very important and really God respects uh, our trust in Him he he gets pleased, well pleased when we trust him. And he will never fail helping us when we put our trust in the Lord. Yan po ang akin. When somebody um, also gets angry with me for no reason at all, I trust in the Lord. And so on and so forth. Yan lang po, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, uh, Tita Fe. Ganda naman so uh, we have here, hi po Rachel po ito, ako naman po kahit may kinakaharap na problema or challenges, I take it positively po kasi we have this confidence that God is with us na hindi niya tayo iiwan. Alright, good evening Shane, how are you? Good evening, good evening. So we good have evening this, naman, uh, good evening po sa inyong lahat po. Asensya na na-late po ako, birthday ni Shaylee ngayon. Eh. Oo nga, happy birthday kay Shaylee ha. So we have this question. Uh, if you want to answer, uh, okay. If if not, it's okay. Also, uh, question natin eh, how will you manifest your trust in the Lord, or paano mo pinapakita at pinapamuhay ang pagtitiwala mo sa Dios? Ah, <laughs> uh, do you wish to share, Shane, or uh? Ah uh, okay po ako pala. Kala ko tanong sa lahat. Um uh, siguro po I've been struggling lately with my sins. I keep on sinning. So I keep on telling the Lord that you know like the other day I read the Bible it says don't give up. Be persistent. So I keep on telling the Lord I Despite I sin, I'm going to keep on coming to you because I know one of these days you're going to heal me and you're going to make me a better person. Amen. Because uh, until now, I'm still struggling to be better, which in fact, I, I try to attend all the uh, therapy that I can attend to in Veterans Affairs. But yet, I still uh, have to gather myself into pieces. I'm having a hard time doing it. So I hope someday, and I hope you guys pray for me that I will will become a better person. So Amen. I just keep on praying to the Lord that no matter what, I I am a sinner right now, but I know someday you will make me become like you, and I I will never cease asking the Lord with that one, because He's the only one who can help me. Amen. Actually, that's a beautiful attitude. No, dapat talaga ganon tayo. Uh, the more the the enemy will press into our hearts like, hey, kumbaga, you've been doing this and that and uh, you're not worthy of his uh, love anymore and so why don't you forget about God? Uh, no, the more we should uh, no, 
uh, keep on coming to God. That is their attitude, no? That's uh, continue to fight for uh kasi ano yan eh, it's a spiritual battle and and uh, and the Lord is uh, faithful na nagawin niya tayong victorious diyan, no? So sa una parang uh, nakaka nakapagod, nakalungkot, parang uh, walang changes pero as long as we keep keep that attitude na no, I will still continue to uh, look for God's heart and uh, at uh, magtiwala magtiwala sa Panginoon na lahat ay magbabago. And then changes will come, no? And then we will start appreciating God. Okay? So hold on to your faith chain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. God bless you. So we continue with our uh prayer. So let's go now to our prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, you are worthy to be praised, Lord God. You are the Alpha and Omega and uh, our Savior and Lord. You are the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we thank you for uh, uh, being our dearest pastor who shelter us, Lord God, and protect us every day of our lives, Lord. Lord, uh, If there are any sins in our hearts, uh, we committed in thoughts and uh, also in deeds and uh, also sins that comes from comes out from our mouth, Lord God. Uh, we seek, Lord, your forgiveness. We repent of our sins, Lord God, and cleanse us, Lord God. I would like also to thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that we receive from you. We continue to receive from you when we're about to receive from you, Lord. Uh, we uh, we are so forever grateful, Lord God, for all your protections, blessings, provisions, and everything. Tonight, we ask for uh, many supplications. We ask for many favors. And uh, we would like to start, Lord God, for uh, praying for Israel. Lord, uh, you know the hatred, the envy, the... Uh, this uh, this uh, war has been going on since the time of Abraham and, and uh, the, the dispute over the land, the hatred towards each other, the Jews over the Palestinians and the Palestinians over the Jews. Uh, we pray for peace for Israel, Lord God, as you say as you say in your word, Lord, continue to pray for the peace of Israel. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that uh, Uh, you stop the war and uh, bring healing towards uh, the two different countries, two, two different nations, uh, two different uh, uh, people. Uh, we, we pray, Lord, na uh, hindi lang sa Israel, ganoon din sa mga Palestinians na na nadamay, mga civilian, madami na namatay. At uh, pwede mag-cost ng uh, another world war at uh, kailangan namin na mag maging mahinaho ng mga ibang katabing bansa at ang mga nakiki, uh, uh, nagkakahiwahiwalay ng kanya-kanyang mga ideolohiya, Panginoon. I pray na ma ma-resolve agad, Panginoon, at uh, magkaroon ng kapayapaan sa, sa parte ng mundo na yon Panginoon. Panginoon, uh, We also pray for our uh, attendees. Uh, we pray for the Anastasios, Panginoon, si Aldrin, si Jasmine, si Alison, si Anaya. We pray, Lord God, na they're not feeling well today. Uh, we pray na uh, your 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 touch of uh, healing will be upon them, comfort them, Lord God. Also, uh, continue to use them, Lord God, in our ministries. Uh, continue to grow them as your children and uh, make them effective as your har harvesters in the vineyard, Lord God. We pray for Grace, uh, uh, Angeles. Uh, we pray also for Ivan. Uh, we, we pray, Lord God, that you bless them, protect them, continue to grow them, Lord God. We're so happy that we always see them, Lord God, a church, and uh, they are growing, Lord God, with you. We pray for protection, blessings also for them. We pray for the Ascaraga family, uh, si Lola Elena, si Tita Josie, si Giselle, Brother Noel, and... Uh, Uh, si Rachel at uh, uh, si Jorel and uh, yung asawa ni Jorel, Panginoon si Liana, uh, si Jairus, mga anak nila, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, for the entire Asgaraga family na i-bless niyo po sila, 
Lagi niyo po silang uh, iingatan. Gamitin niyo rin po sila lalo sa ministry niyo. Uh, buong pamilya, Panginoon, patuloy niyo po silang gamitin pagpapala sa maraming tao at sa simbahan. Uh, palaguin niyo po sila, Panginoon, at uh, always protect them, Lord God, especially sa sickness, lalo na si Lola Elena, Panginoon, panatili niyong malakas ang kanyang uh, katawan, Panginoon. We pray for the Bugayongs, si John, si uh, Avi, si, San, si Santeo, si Sharela, uh, yung bago nilang panganak, Panginoon, as I see you pa, Panginoon. And, uh, we pray na uh, makalabas na siya as soon as possible. I pray for Mavi na magkaroon po siya ng uh, uh, fast recovery sa kanyang pangalan. At uh, uh, maraming salamat Panginoon sa mga hinipo mo na nagbigay ng uh, tulong sa kanila Panginoon sa panganak ni Mavi Panginoon. And uh, we, we thank you Lord God for uh, the blessings of giving us uh, many numbers in our flock Panginoon. And uh, we give you all the glory Lord God. We give you all back the glory. We pray for the LA First uh, Filipino, English, Spanish, and two Korean churches, Lord God, na magkaisa at uh, magkaroon, Panginoon, ng uh, uh, tulungan, Panginoon, sa campus na to. Protect our campus, Lord God. Let's continue to pray for the Church of the Nazarene. Justin, uh, kindly lead us. Thank you. Dear Lord, thank you for this time to pray. We thank you that you hear us and that you answer our prayers according to your will. Lord, we pray for the Church of the Nazarene, the General Superintendents, Music, Crocker, Chambo, Sunberg, Daniels, and Sarmiento, the District Superintendent, Mark Lehman, the Board, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, Pas, uh, Tita Gurley, Atta Rachel, and Tita LV. Uh, we also pray for Ellie Filna's pastoral staff, Pastor Jeff, uh, Pastor Bert, Pastor Bong, Pastor Rave, and Pastor Fed. The English, Josue Tegila, Michael Mada, Dan Bayer, Pedro Torres, and Angela Lowe. The Spanish, Juan Fajardo, Lina Fajardo, and Gladys Rosales. We also pray for the South Korean, uh, Kai Sun Lee, and Moon Hyu Lee, and the North Korean, Jong Wan Lee, and Hae Suk Lee. We also pray for the MCB staff, Star, Curtis, Nick, and Maynard. Lord, we pray for all of these individuals here that you would continue to use them and give them wisdom. Lord, may you be the center of everything that they do, always putting you first. Lord, guide them as they lead your people. And we pray that you would use them to win more souls for your kingdom. Lord, we also pray for peace between all the congregations at our church. We pray, Lord, that there would be unity and that we would put you first in everything. Lord, we pray for provisions for these people and their families, that you would provide all of their needs. Continue to bless them, Lord, for they are a blessing to us. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Justin. For complete healing provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns, uh, Brother Manny, kindly lead us for complete healing. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, for complete healing sa mga sumusunod po. Father God, uh, si Ati Fipot po na magiging negative po results doon sa stress test niya. I pray, Father God, for your hand to come upon her, to come upon um, kung ano man ang uh, magiging result po ng kanyang test. Sa mga Anastasias po na not feeling well, ask Father God for your hand, uh, for your covering, for your blood, na mahil, mahil po sila. 
Father God, for Diana, sa biopsy po sa ovary, na maging negative po, Kilina, doon sa eye surgery niya for healing, come upon her, Diana, healing for an unknown pain, uh, Lord, for your hand to come upon her, for Greg Carman, for complete healing, also for one of you, na feel po niya, Lord, and for Patrick Noel, na mag, uh, um, he'll be able to walk and join the church po. Heavenly Father, ask Father God for your hand, for your uh, uh, for your uh, healing hand, Lord Jesus, to come upon them. Uh, ikaw po ang mag-move sa kanilang buhay. Ikaw po ang magbibigay ng uh, You are our, our great healer. Ikaw po ang provide ng healer. Ikaw po ang aming doktor. Ikaw po ang uh, nagbibigay lunas po sa aming mga karamdaman. We just want to thank you, Lord God. We just pray for this in your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Kuya Thank you, Kuya Mani. For complete healing from cancer, uh, CJ, kindly lead us. Thank you. Lord, maraming salamat po sa gabing ito, Lord. Maraming salamat po sa lahat po ng um, uh, answer prayers po namin, Lord. Lord, we lift up to you the following form complete for complete healing from cancer. Una po kay Tess Uis or Ovarian, kay Marikis Miller sa colon, kay Edna Labrin sa breast, kay Ricardo Madrid sa lungs, kay Noah de Guzman sa bone, kay Ellie Heradura sa stomach, and kay Richa sa lungs. Lord, we pray for these people, Lord, and also um, the people who are also have who also had cancer, Lord, na wala pa sa listang kami to, Lord. Lord, we pray that um yung kanila po pinagdadaanan po na yun, Lord, we pray for, for complete healing, Lord, na sa ano, um one day po Lord po namin na gagalik po sila sa kanilang uh, sickness Lord and um may they always remember po Lord na kasama niyo po sila palagi po every step of the way as they take, take medicines or as they um continues to get treatment po Lord and uh, Lord we pray that um may you always renew their minds Lord that um this is only like this is only um uh a uh, challenge po Lord na at alam po natin Lord na um wala pong imposible po sa inyo Lord and we claim that um they would be healed Lord that um may they be a testimony Lord of uh, of your um faithfulness po Lord and we all know that um lahat po ito um maka, lahat po ito ay um wala pong imposible po sa inyo Lord maraming salamat po Lord sa opportunity po naman na po sa inyo Lord and that um Lord, we pray now for for these people and their families, po, Lord, na naway hindi po sila maging malungkot, Lord, but rather uh, mag-focus po sila po sa inyo, Lord, and the continuous um, na it, um, isipin po, Lord, na nandiyan po kayo palagi para po sa kanila. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, CJ. For personal supplication, uh, special favor and request, uh, Brother Aldin, kindly lead us. Thank you. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for this time of prayer to commune with you, Lord God. And thank you, Lord God, for hearing us, Lord God, and for the future answers, Lord God. Lord, we pray for these special favors and requests, Lord God, for uh, Tita Terry and Tita Elvi, Lord God, who are mourning, Lord God, right now, for the death of their parents, Lord. Lord, Please give them peace, and um, may they know that you are the source of peace, Lord God, especially for all the family members who are mourning, who are in pain, who are hurting, Lord God, who are missing their loved ones, Lord. Lord, may they have, find comfort, Lord God, and peace in you, Lord, that um, they still have that joy and assurance that you will never leave them nor forsake them, Lord God, that um, their loved ones are in a better place, Lord God. and um, Thank you, Lord God, for Tita Terry and Tita Elvis' life. Make them always safe. Um, keep them away from any danger or sickness, Lord God, especially while they're in the Philippines, Lord. Um, may they come back safely here in the U.S., Lord God. And Lord, um, we pray for district license renewal of uh, and pass the final interview, re recommendation approval for uh, Pastor Jeff, Lord God. Lord, uh, Pastor Jeff is doing um, a great job in following your your instructions, Lord God, as he leads our his flock, our church, Lord. Um, may it be finding the consideration, Lord God, for the next level up toward the or 
ordination, Lord God, um, that um, he he will um, get the acknowledge that that he deserves. Of course, it's all, all glory goes to you, Lord God, for um, Pastor Jeff's life, Lord God. Thank you for uh, he is uh, he he is our leader, Lord God. He is our pastor, and um, we look up to him, Lord God. And um, thank you for sending us um, being be our, our inspiration, Lord God to um, get to know you more, to have a deeper relationship with you as uh, we see uh, Jesus in his life, Lord. Thank you so much. And we pray for the weddings, um, the plans of Dennis and uh, Mao, uh, Shane and Almira, Steve and Michelle, Lord. Um, may you um, provide for them, Lord God. Um, give them the, the financial needs that uh, they will be using, Lord God, for the planning um, send them people, Lord God, who uh, are good in uh, organizing um, every detail, Lord God, from the, the clothes and the, the the gowns and the the the, um, the decorations, Lord, the um, the venue, the food, um, or everything that is um, going to be needed, Lord God, for the weddings, Lord God, may um, may it be. Uh, fulfilled Lord God and most especially Lord God may you be the center of of their their relationships Lord and may they grow in you Lord God to um, bond and um, have a strength and uh, their uh, to strengthen their relationship Lord God and even even their faith in you Lord Jesus and uh, we pray for Joshua na uh, makuha po niya yung kanyang documents and a place to stay to find work Lord God Lord um uh, we thank you, Lord God, for the life of Joshua. Um, he's been a testimony, Lord God, of your goodness. He came to our church, and he's getting better. And we just pray that um, things will just continue to get better and pray for a uh, blessing upon his life. And those who are willing to help him, Lord, those who are um, reaching out their arms, Lord God, to a brother in need, Lord, may you bless them, Lord. Um, provide for Joshua. Um, give him a sense of direction, Lord God. Uh, may his eyes be open, Lord God, to the pla your plans, Lord God. Um, may your will uh, happen in his life, Lord, and use him for your glory, Lord. Pray for Lauren, Ivan, and, um, and Job, Lord God, to be more socially adjusted, Lord. Um, it, it, it is nice to see them smile, Lord. It's nice to see them interact with other people, and we just pray that um, you will remove the the um, awkwardness, uh, any form of depression or anxiety, Lord God. We just rebuke it in Jesus' name, Lord. We pray that um, you would use them, Lord God, for uh, the ministry that you uh, would like them to be part of. I know uh, Lauren is a talented girl. She has uh, music um a talents, Lord, in playing the piano or drums, Lord God. Lord, we just pray any ministry that you would use them for your glory, Lord God, in our church, Lord God. May it happen, Lord God. And um, may they have the this deeper relationship with you, Lord God, that uh, may they fall in love with you, Lord. And um, may you use them, Lord God, for the expansion of your kingdom. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Aldrin. For connecting events, evangelism, discipleship, missions, uh, Ate Janet, kindly lead us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, you orchestrate times and seasons. And for all these connecting events and evangelism, discipleship, and missions, God, we pray that you will move mightily, that you will provide for every need, Lord. Lord, on October 28th, Saturday, there will be an MCB meeting about this contract. We pray, Lord, that you will move regarding this contract, Lord. Continue to just open doors, God, opportunities of uh, whatever would be needed to be done. We ask you, Lord, to just move mightily. Lord, we pray for this for the Sunday pastor's appreciation. Father, we want to thank you for all the pastors whom you have installed. We pray that you will continue to bless them. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for choosing our leaders, for choosing our pastors. And Lord, we honor them. And we pray that you will just make this event, this event memorable for our pastors, that they would feel loved and appreciated for everything that they have done for your church. Lord, we pray for the local license renewal for 
lay pastors for Pastor Bert, for Pastor Ray, even for PQ. Lord, we pray that you will, oh Lord God, help them and uh, let them continue, God, that this their licenses be renewed, Lord, for, uh, for, for lay pastors. We pray even for the venue, for our spring family camp, for the ocular on, uh, on November 4. We pray, Father God, that uh, you will just show, Lord, the best place for the next season of our spring family camp, oh God. Lord, we pray for the dedication and birthday of Edric Camus. Lord, we just lift, the, lift up to you, Lord, this young boy, that you will, oh God, uh, fill him, God, with wisdom, with strength, and the joy of the Lord be upon him. And as he continues to grow, God, the words that he is hearing from the church will grow and it will bear fruit in his heart. Father, we pray even for the dedication and birthday of Nathan Madrid. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa biyaya, Panginoon, ng aming mga babies na lumaki na, Panginoon, pagpalaan, Panginoon, ang kanilang mga birthday, especially si Nathan, O oh God. Father, we pray for Thanksgiving Fellowship. Lord, we remember, God, that indeed, now we are here in the U.S. because of those people who have worked work and labored, um, labored so much to have have this thanksgiving and lord we want to honor you we want to thank you and lord we pray for the workers appreciation day lord we pray that you will continue to raise up workers god to work in your vineyard and lord we appreciate your workers oh god and we pray that uh, you will continue to provide for all these needs for all these uh, uh, events oh god that you will provide for everything lord we pray for youth overnight youth Christmas party, we, we, we raise up, we pray for our youth, Lord, that you will raise them up, oh God, in this time and season, that they will be full of your knowledge and the spirit of the living God be upon them, that they will make a difference wherever they are, oh God. Lord, empower them by your spirit, that they would have love and uh, hunger for your word. You lift them up to you, that you will raise them up in these last days. We pray even for the Church Christmas Fellowship, the barn dance, oh God, the barn dance. We, we, we pray for this event, God, and even for the New Year's Eve Fellowship. We lift up to you, Lord, another year we're going to uh, we'll be coming. We pray that you will just prepare your people especially for your work, God. And we pray for the board annual planning. Lord, we pray that you will, oh God, continue to give wisdom to our leaders for this planning, oh God. You, you download to them the things that you want to be accomplished and to be done. Lord, we want to honor you for all these events and circumstances. Be open, O oh God, all for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, Sister Janet, for our popcorn prayer, uh, for other supplications. Anyone can start to pray now. Uh, Lord, we lift up to you those uh, brothers and sisters whom we had invited in the past. We remember them in these prayers that you will continue, oh God, to speak into their hearts. And they may they grow, O oh God. May the word that they have heard will bear fruit in their hearts and bring them back, O oh God, to church to be able to fellowship with your people wherever they are and whatever they are doing and whatever challenges they are in. God, we pray that you will minister to them even in their sleep, when they are alone. God, mungusap ka po sa kanila. Maraming salamat po. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, I live up to you. My another lab exam, my MRI this coming Monday. I pray, Lord, that uh, everything will go well at maging okay din po ang result itong MRI na gagawin sa akin sa Monday. Take, take control of everything, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.
Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, to uh, pray and uh, pray for one another, pray for a lot of things, Lord God, and thank you for all the answered prayers, Lord God. Uh, tonight, Lord God, uh, bless your people. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face, fa the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Good evening, good evening sa inyong lahat. Tayo nang mag picture-picture. Uh, <laughs> sa darating na biyernes, kaya tayong di clusters And then sa linggo, Uh, expect na marami tayong attendee sa let. Okay. At the count of three. One, two, three, and smile. All right. So, good evening. Hi, Anaya. <laughs> good evening. Good evening Hi. sa inyo lahat. Good evening. God bless you. Happy birthday, uh, Shady. Happy birthday, Tita Josie. Ayan, dahi may birthday. Meron po akong itatanong, <laughs> Pastor. Apo, ano po? Bakit nawawala lahat ang mukha natin sa... <laughs> 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 nawawala po lahat ng mukha. Kasi, kasi tita tayo, mga hindi na ka-make up. <laughs> oh, ganun po. <laughs> Kasi tita pe, sa haba daw ng fellowship natin pag linggo, nagkakasawaan na tayo sa mukha natin. <laughs> Hindi po, ano lang po. Uh, ano lang yun, kumbaga mas kampante sila sa ganyan siguro. Yeah. Ako naman, kahit may mukha o wala, okay lang sa akin. Basta tayo nagsasama-sama. Okay? Good evening. God bless you. See you uh, Friday. Bye. 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 Bye.